There were no tall buildings like that, maybe one or two. It was it, it just even hard to describe, but it looks nothing like it did 30 years ago. This road didn't exist. There was really almost no aquaculture here in Bangladesh when I first came. It was really all fisheries, wild catch, and I remember uh, one of my first trips, they're like, ah, aquaculture, that's not going to work here. Bangladesh is a river in country. There are huge number of ponds, lakes, rivers, and seasonal flood beds. Enormous opportunity for aquaculture. But aquaculture was not growing in the right direction. For 36 years, I have been doing aquaculture and fisheries at the Bangladesh Agricultural University, which is also USA funded university built in 1961. So our faculty of fisheries was there, academicians were there, researchers were there, but research was not streamlined, it was not demand led, it was not serving the people. Bangladesh got infected by the idea about systems aquaculture really sustainable models, input-output models for systems aquaculture. And by understanding that, that's what Wahab was able to propel forward a lot of the industry because it was low cost. They didn't have to put anything in their ponds and they can grow fish. It was like mana from heaven. Eco Innovation Lab and myself, through these world experts, devoted our efforts towards the demand-led and necessity research. What is the challenge? What the farmers are facing? Bangladesh is now producing 4.2 million metric ton and reached to the fourth, ranked the fourth position in the world production. So, uh, so a major contribution, a major technological support came from this USAID-funded Aqua Fish Innovation Lab Wahab understood the science and he brought so many people together over the question of aquaculture. Now Bangladesh is one of the world's great producers of cultured fish and shellfish. More than 500 farmers we have trained and more than 70 on-farm trial we have done and also Every year, 100 undergraduate students were involved, and MS student by the more than 35 students, MS and PhD uh, developed their skill. You know that uh, in Bangladesh, uh, the university funds for research is very scarcity and limited, and without uh, uh, this support, I think it won't be possible to uh, carry out my PhD work. Uh, and not only me, lots of university students uh, got financial support from Aquafish Innovation Lab to make their uh, MS and PhD studies. Working all these years with the Aquafish, they have helped us for the uh, capacity development. We had a uh, broadened horizon. We have a uh, 
collaboration with other university with other uh, continent. This businessman we're visiting, Wahab reached out to him as one of the kind of a model farmer early on. So it's it ended up enriching this this farmer and he was a good businessman as well, you'll see. He's got a very nice farm and he's diversified his farm. He's a good businessman, he heads the Tilapia Association, so it's in his best interest to provide kind of good information. This is where researchers meet farmers who are capable and farmers later spread that information out to more farmers. I think that this kind of international collaboration between uh, international universities for America or Japan or any other countries is very much helpful for BAU, not only for the students, but also for the faculty. So as an international collaborator, I always want to do many kinds of international collaboration with many universities. A PhD student is an emerging scientist. Uh, within uh, his country, uh, he should keep connection with the international uh, aquaculture scientist. And I think uh, I got a lot uh, through Aquafish Innovation Lab. Uh, I made lots of international connection. And we feel that, uh, you know, as partners and project partners, that we would work with you again in a heartbeat. So thank you. As we are still developing country, we need the collaboration with a uh, developed country. Then we can exchange our ideas and views. Then actually we want to be able to get the optimum result. That is why I personally believe this sorts of MEU will help us a lot. As I'm doing and my research in the field of agriculture and fisheries, that means I'm contributing for feeding uh, the future all of the fisheries research we can do for a hunger-free planet. It's my dream.